Hi guys, uh, this is Mr. Leshin. It feels good to be back here on Ramos again. Uh, this is SS1 class. The last time I was here, we talked about the concept of electricity and we discussed about current, we discussed about circuits, where we open, we discussed about open circuit and closed circuits. Uh, we discussed about the potential difference, uh, electromotive force, resistivity and conductivity. And I believe you have studied more on that and solved all the questions on that is. But this week we'll be looking at uh, cells and resistor arrangements. We'll be looking at what cells and resistor arrangement. I would like to take you through how cells and resistors are arranged. But before we go into details of the lecture, I would like to share with you the lesson, the learning objective. The learning objective, which is at the end of the lesson, students should be able to identify series arrangement and parallel arrangement of cells, identify series arrangement and parallel arrangement of resistors, calculate the equivalent resistance of resistor and arrange the series and calculate the equivalent resistance of resistor arranged in parallel. This is what we'll be looking at during this what for this lesson. This is what we'll be looking at, and I believe we'll be able to achieve it as we have stated it. So let's continue. We'll continue. The next slide is cells arrangement. This is what we'll discuss first. There are two ways by which cells are arranged. We have the series arrangement and the parallel arrangement. The series arrangement and the parallel arrangement. So the, this first diagram shows what the series arrangement and the second diagram is what illustrates the what the parallel arrangement. The first diagram what illustrates the what the series arrangement, while the second diagram illustrates what the parallel arrangement. Let's go to the definition. Under cells in series, cells may be arranged in such a way that the positive terminal of one cell is connected to the what negative terminal of the other. The positive terminal of one cell is connected to the negative terminal what of the other that is look at the diagram this is cell one cell two cell three this is the diagram in which you used to represent a cell when you see something like this you know this, we're talking about what a cell so this is cell one cell two and cell three cell one the first negative terminal is connected to what to the positive terminal of the other cell while in cell two this negative terminal is connected to what to the positive terminal. that is they are arranged like that the negative terminal of one pool is connected to the positive terminal of the other and like that and like that that is what it was in cells in series arrangement but these are the parameters considered when you are dealing with what arrangement of cells in series one the total emf in the sum is the sum of the individual emf the total emf is the sum of the individual emf consider this the electromotive force in cell one is and the electromotive force in cell two and the electromotive force in cell three the total of all these electromotive force is the sum of the individual that is let's say the cell one has three volts of electromotive force cell two has four volts and cell three has six volts so what is the total emf you say three plus four plus what plus six which is what 13 volts that's how you calculate the what the total emf in series that is it is the sum of the individual emf you bring all of them together and calculate it together and give you what the total EMA. The second one, to, the second condition is that the current of each cell is the same and is identical with the current in the entire arrangement. That is the total current in the circuit. Let's say IS is given as five ampere. It is the same five ampere that will pass through the cell one. It is the same five ampere that will pass through the water cell two and also cell three. That is the total internal. Uh, the total. Uh, current is the same that passes through what the what individual cells. That is, if the total current is five ampere, that is, cell one has five ampere, cell two has five ampere, and cell three also has five ampere. But in this single cell uh, cell in series arrangement, take note: voltage is not like that. Only current is like that. Voltage is different according to uh, uh, across the what the cells. The voltage in E1 is different from the voltage in E2, and is different from the what voltage in E3. But current is the same all through the what the circuit. The third condition is the total internal resistance of the battery is the sum of the individual resistance. The last time we talked about resistance and now you are seeing internal resistance. The difference is that the internal resistance is the resistance inside the what the source. Here we are looking at the battery as the source. So the internal the resistance inside the what the, the battery is the what internal resistance is the case. So take note, the total resistance is given as what the sum of the individual resistance. You can have two cells with internal resistance of probably two, two ohms and three ohms. So the total internal resistance is what? 2 plus 3, which will give you what? 5 ohms. That's the total internal resistance. So take note of this. For a circuit which contains a source EMF, E of internal resistance R, and a series with a resistance R, 
then the emf is given as e equals to i open brackets r plus one that is in several arrangements in series you can be given a condition whether you have what you are given an internal resistance you are given a resistance and you are given a what an electromotive force and a current also is involved this is how you represent it it's given as what e which is the what electromotive force that is the total electromotive force equals to i i is the what total current and you already know that the total current is also the current that moves what in the individual what cells why r is the capital r is the total resistance in the circuit why small r is the total internal resistance so this is the representation when you are given what a condition like this let us take an example look at this example a resistor is connected in series with a battery of two cells if the system is connected in series you have to always take note of this word the arrangement the series or in parallel but here is what a series with a battery of two cells each having an emf of 1.5 volts the battery has two cells contains two what two cells and the emf of the battery is what 1.5 volts each that is cell one has 1.5 volts emf and cell two has what 1.5 volts emf continuation of the question it says and an internal resistance of what is 0 0.5 ohm of the two cells the internal resistance of the two cells is what is 0 0.5 and is 0 0.5 so we have two cells having what 1.5 volts each of emf and 0 0.5 ohms of what internal resistance now it is given as what is the resistance of the resistor if a current of what is 0 0.30 ampere flows through it i already told you same current flows through it is a series but now look at it now I told you before, look at the conditions given. And this total EMF is what sum of individual resist EMF, while the total internal resistance is what sum of the what individual internal resistance. And we have given internal resistance to be what is 0 0.5 ohm and EMF to what 1.5 volts. So the total EMF is given as what 3.0 volts, that is 1.5 volts plus what 1.5 volts to give you what 3.0 volts. And the internal resistance is what 0 0.5 ohms, which is what. 0 0.5 plus what is 0 0.5 ohm or 0 0.5 times 2 which will give us what one ohms all together so given the formula that is e related to this formula whereby we have what uh, electromotive force equals to i bracket r plus rr so we are using two r here because we have what two internal resistance which is what i equal open bracket r plus two r because we have to calculate what the resistance capital letter r so insert your parameters the total internal the total emf is what 3.0 volts given here 1.5 plus 1.5 is 3.0 volts and the current is given as what 0 0.3 ampere you don't have to worry about that because same current passes through what in series so you split this well r plus what two times what is 0 0.5 ohms if you solve through you have what r equals to what nine ohms don't just take it like that take your calculator and apply it make out the subject of the formula and solve through 3.0 equals to 0 0.3 open bracket r plus 2 times 0 0.5 solve through and make sure you get your r as what 9 ohms that is how to solve what questions on what cell arrangement in series cell arrangement in series so we go to the cell arrangement in parallel which is the second arrangement but in this case the difference is that you recall in cell in series the positive terminal is connected to what the negative terminal but in this case the positive terminal is connected to the positive terminal of another cell and connected to the positive terminal of another cell that's why they are called what parallel arrangement that is look at it from the diagram positive terminal connected to the positive terminal connected to the positive terminal while the negative is what connected to the negative terminal of another cell and negative terminal of another what cell always take note they are connected like that it's the positive terminal is connected to what to the positive terminal. so when you see an arrangement like this you know that this one is a series you'll be able to separate that this one is a what in parallel but these are the conditions for what cells arranged in what parallel cells arranged in what in parallel one the total emf is the same as that of a single cell that is in cell in series the total emf is the sum of the individual cells but in parallel the total emf is the same across all the what the circuits that is it is the same if you are given a total emf of what uh let's say five volts it is the same that will pass through the individual cell that is, we have three cells like E1, E2, E3. E1 equals to 5, E2 equals to 5, and E3 equals to 5. It is the same EMF that passes through. And number two condition states that the current is divided equal among the cells. That is, the cell in parallel arrangement, the current is different. Unlike in series, whereby the same current passes through everything. No, in this case, the current that passes through cell 1 is different from the current that passes through cell 2, and it's different from the one that passes through cell 3. Accumulated will give you what the total what. So, total current, not that five ampere in like unlike series arrangement that is 
if you have five pound pair, it is the same that passes through. No, in this case, it is what divided across. So for this case, the total, the reciprocal of the total internal resistance, the reciprocal of the total internal resistance is the sum of the reciprocal of the individual resistance. What we mean by reciprocal is what? One over, let's say the uh, internal resistance is R, or RT. You see, reciprocal is what? One over. That is the total, in parallel arrangement, the total internal resistance is what? One over RT equals to what? If you have three cells, you have one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3. That's how you solve it in parallel. Or like in series over, you just say RT equals to what? R1 plus R2 plus R3. But in parallel arrangement, it is what? One over RT equals to what? One over R plus one over R2 plus one over R3. That is that about that. Let's go to the next slide. I'll take you through an example. So let us look at the resistor. Resistor. Uh, we've talked about series arrangement and parallel uh, arrangement of cells. Now we look at the resistor. The resistor, this is used in most electronic circuits and it helps control the flow of current in a circuit. It helps control the what? Flow of current in a what? Circuit, it regulates. You can see, just use that, we use, a, we use it to what? Regulate the flow of current. Or you say it's used to what? Control or balance the flow of current in what? A circuit, that is what a resistor is what? Used for. If too much current flows through a leg, it is destroyed. So for you not to destroy a circuit, you have to control it. That is, if a lead is required to take a, like, let's say two ampere, and five ampere is coming, you have to get what a resistor that will balance it what not to not to take more than what two what ampere. Let us continue. So as so a resistor is used to limit the current. A resistor can either be arranged in what series and what or parallel. As the cell arrangement, the resistor can also be arranged in what series and what in what parallel. The diagram one shows what series arrangement of what uh, resistor, and the diagram two shows the parallel arrangement of what. Uh, uh, resistors you can see the flow of what current in what in a sequential manner and this is what they are in parallel to one another that is they do not have what they do not meet this one's flows in series they meet and the parallel they do not meet the flow of what in they are, they are arranging what in what in par parallel so let's go so in resistors in series you have to take the conditions in case you want to solve questions on that resistors in series there are conditions you have to follow in series arrangement of resistor the same current flows through same as the what in cell same current flows through what the circuit. Same current flows through the circuit. If you have three or four, take the example that the diagram. This is resistor one, two, three, and four. In the circuit, if you have one ampere as the current, the same one ampere or ampere current will flow through all the what resistor. Same current flows through what the resistors. So while the potential difference V is different for each resistor, that is the total voltage is what is different. If you have a, a voltage of let's say five voltage, it is not the same voltage that flows through what the cell. It is different voltage that what goes across the what the cells. So the total voltage is given as what Vt equals to what V1 plus V2 plus V3. That is, if the total voltage, let's say V1 is 2, V3 is 3, and V4 is 4. So you say 1 plus 2 plus what? 4. If V1 is 1, V2 is 2, and V3 is 4, you say 1 plus 2 plus 4, which will give you what? 7 volts. That is the total voltage. That is the what? Total voltage. But recall, the same current passes through the cells, and the same current that passes through the cell is the same current that flows through the, what, the circuit. So how do you calculate for the resistance now? We already know that different voltage flows are across them, and same current flows across the resistors. Now, to calculate the, what, the resistance that flows across each of the resistors, we recall in Ohm's law, we know that what V equals to what IR. V equals to what IR, and the total voltage is given as what Vt equals to what? V1 equals to plus V2 plus V3. Represent it like, let's say Vt equals to V1 equal plus V2 plus V3. Recall, V equals to what? IR. Replace V by IR across the what? The equation. Replace V equals to IR across the what? The equation. Recall. And remember that I said, same current flows through the resistors. That is, the current is what? Constant. Same current is what constant in what series arrangement. So you have I to be constant and RT equals to I plus R1 plus I plus R2 plus I plus what I3. Since I is common, bring out I here and bring out I here. I will cross multiply what R. Then what you have is what RT equals what R1 plus R2 plus R3. Meaning that the total resistance of a resistor is connect connected in series is that it is the sum total of the resistors connected. This is the explanation. That is. If your resistor one is what two ohms, resistor two is three ohms, 
there's just a three is uh, there's just a three is four ohm and there's a four is what five ohm. The total resistance of the resistor is what two plus three plus four plus five. That is what that is talking about. About that is about what series arrangement of what resistor. Series arrangement of what resistor. Next slide. So resistor in parallel. We've talked about uh, resistor in series and resistor in parallel. The difference in the resistor in series is that they are about uh, the difference in the resistor in parallel to series that they are arranged in what in parallel. They are not connected directly. They are arranged in what in parallel. So in parallel arrangement of resistor, the potential difference in this case is the same while the current is different. Although in series the current is the same and the potential difference is what is different. But in this case, the what the current is different and the potential difference across each resistor is what is the same. That is, total current will now be what I T. That is, total current equals what current across each resistor. Let's say I one plus I two plus I three. We give you what the total resistance and the voltage is what the same across. So to calculate the total resistance of the resistor across each of these. You recall in Ohm's law that is V equals to IR, make I the subject of formula, you have what I equals to VR. Replace I equals to VR in this equation. So you have what V over what RT equals to V over R1 plus V over R2 plus V over what R3. Recall your parameter that is V is the voltage and R is the what resistance. Take note, V is the same across the what the resistors, across the what the circuit. The resistor, the voltage across each resistor is what the same. So V will be taken out like this. Open bracket V, you have what? 1 over RT equals to V bracket 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. So V, we cancel V. So what we are left is what? 1 over RT equals to what? 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over RT. Therefore, the total resistance of resistor in parallel arrangement is the sum total of the reciprocal of the what? Individual resistor. That is the reciprocal of the total resistance. Look at it. The reciprocal is what? 1 over RT equals to what? The sum total, the sum total of the what individual reciprocal of the what individual resistor that is one over R one plus what one over R two plus what one over R three. So this is what the total resistance. And note the total resistance in parallel arrangement what is less than the smallest what resistance of the what resistors. It is small smaller than the what the what the smallest resistance of the resistor. Look at the take note. The total resistance or effective resistance is less than the least individual resistance. Let's say you have a cell of resistors, so resistor arranged in parallel. Let's say you have like four, and we have two, three, four, five ohms across the resistors. The smallest is what two. The effective resistance you must be what lower, must be smaller than the what the smallest, which is two. So your answer must be what below two. Unlike uh, in series, whereby the total resistance is the what is the accumulation of the what the individual resistance. So the next slide, we take an example. Three resistors of resistance two ohms. 4 ohms and 6 ohms are connected in series. Three resistors of resistance, 2 ohms, 4 ohms, and 6 ohms are connected in what series? Find the equivalent resistance of the combination. Equivalent resistance means what? Effective resistance or effective resistance or what? Total resistance. These are the, these are the terms used in talking about in, in uh, approaching what? Total what? Resistance. So the solution, since they are arranged in series, you have been given that, consider if this is, let me go back to it. Resistor in series is given as total resistance is what? R1 plus R2 plus R3. It's as, you don't need to stress yourself on that. So you just say R C equals to what? R1 plus R2 plus R3, which is what? 2 ohms plus 4 ohms plus what? 6 ohms, which will give you what? 10, 12 what? Ohms, which will give you what? 12 ohms. This is what? Arrangement is series. So we take the next slide. Excuse me. If three resistors, 2 ohms, 3 ohms, and 5 ohms are connected in parallel, three resistors, now they are connected in what? In parallel in the circuit. Unlike the other question says they are connected in series. In this case, it is different. Calculate the what is equivalent resistance. That is the total resistance of the combination. And I told you in parallel, the total resistance is what the reciprocal of the total, the reciprocal of the total resistance is equal to the sum total of the reciprocal of the individual resistance. That is one over R T equals to one over R one plus one over R two plus one over what R T D. Therefore, looking at the in such a parameter that is R one is what two. R2 is what 3 and R3 is what 5. If you have what, what 1 over R equals to what 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 5. I would like you to solve this on your own. Take the LCM of the what of the parameters and solve it through you have what is 0 0.97 ohm. So this is that about what the in, uh, arrangement of what cells and arrangement of what resistors. Two ways by which we can arrange cells and two ways by which we can arrange what resistors. 
So we've come to the end of this class. I, I hope you understand everything we've got. Don't questions that have been sent earlier on the lesson notes. If you, with this explanation now, I believe you can approach them better. And I believe we'll, we'll get good results when I start marking your, your solution. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next class.